Welcome guys, welcome back to Ball Yo. Boys. Uh, this week's a little bit different. My co-host Ian Cervantes is out. I think he's in Denver trying out for the Broncos or something. That's I'm crazy, sure. bro. Power yeah. to him. Sixth man of the year. Facts. We brought you up. Thanks, guys. George Ocampo. He's here. He's our sneaker enthusiast. And we're talking about a lot of shoes today, man. So I think we're just going to jump into yeah. it. Five new stories to be exact. So uh, ah. yeah. let's just jump right into it. Carmelo Anthony is joining in the fashion world. Hello. New York Fashion Week, he dropped his own uh, collaboration, huge collaboration with like five different brands for his company called Mellow Made. Wow. They had an event, uh, he did stuff with uh, Rag & Bone, Jordan. Yeah, like Rochambeau own, in there too, right? Rochambeau, That's tight. his own uh, brand called Famous Nobodies. It was pretty, it was pretty lit. I went to the event, James Harden was there. Oh, snap. A bunch of different uh, get a NBA stars. I got a pick. I got a pick. He got a pick. And I'm a Rockets fan. So he got a pick. I got a Rockets fan. And, and just seeing Carmelo and uh, and James Harden like dapping up each other, I'm You're just like, like, wow, I want to be in that circle. That sounds. NBA like Finals confirmed next year. Rockets all the way. Oh wow, all my man's way. calling it. Yeah. Literally, I'm not but the, but man. the big stealer, the big stealer of uh, the whole collaboration has to be the Jordan 20s. Oh dude, those For sure. 20s are For sure. fire. Like I've uh, always like kind of loved 20s because they're like they're kind of slept on. They were like this low key Jordan that like no one really like fucked with too hard. Exactly. But now. Like Mel's bringing it back, with and it really does the, yeah. yeah. the whole rag and bone colorways, it's pretty sick. Um, yeah, he's even said that like they were ahead of its time when they first released, which I think so too. Um, yeah, so it's cool to, to bring them back. Next up, keeping on the basketball theme, we got the Jordan PSG collab. You know, we've yes. already known that this is a thing. You're already rocking it right now. Merch. Yes. We opened it up in unboxing. Shameless plug right there. Hey. But what else we got? We have the friends and family colorway. It's that same Jordan 5 that we saw with the collection, but now it's in all white. Yes. Super fire. The same details with the 75. Got the logo in the mm -hmm. webbing and on the outsole. You got like striped hits on the back. Lit. Pretty popular. Lit. I'm a big fan, actually. I'm, to be honest, I don't like black, white, and red colorways that much. I feel like it's just been overdone it just turns too into much. Like a lot, yeah. A lot. Um, I think this is really dope. It's it's not hitting you over the head with that with that red. It's very subtle, and I like the icy outsoles too. Are oh, you team icy outsoles? Okay, I yeah, respect I'm that. I mean, I'm team Jordan Five right now, like just because people don't really like people aren't really about it as hard. But yeah. I think the Five is going to be a sleeper real soon. Like yeah. I think it's going to come back. Yeah, great collaboration. Sucks that uh, we won't be getting them Damn. because yeah. it's only for family and friends. Cool hoodie though. Yeah, must yeah. be nice. Will Smith got a pair. Wow. So, Damn. This is Will Smith. You're so. basically Will Smith. So uh, OBJ and uh, Nike unveiled a new custom cleat uh, inspired by the Mercurials that Ronaldo used to wear. The Oh, Brazilian, Brazilian Ronaldo. soccer legend. Not to be confused. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Not Cristiano Ronaldo, <laughs> the other Ronaldo. Brazilian Ronaldo. Uh, yeah. Oh, so gee. they're inspired by the ones he rocked uh, at the 1998 World Cup against France. Of course, they're, they're swapped out. The, the blue and yellow colorways of Brazil and are rocking. Red and off. silver here. Red and silver. It's tight. I think this is really. Yeah, OBJ be staying fly in these Nike Dude, cleats. Yes. He got like the air up tempos. Up tempos he also rocking. stay be rocking yep. cleats that aren't like football inspired, which, mm -hmm. you know, I'm about it. It's cool. And I'm it's cool to see it. Nike kind of embrace this new wave of like custom cleats oh, and yeah. custom kicks that athletes are wearing. Yeah, so we're about it. I want to keep seeing more Creatives of that. Creatives create. Yes. <laughs> Next up we have James Connors. <laughs> Next we have Pittsburgh Steelers running back James Conner, who last week we saw with like a pretty interesting that haircut. Wow, haircut. We He's back in the Ball Boys newsroom again, but yes. this time for a better reason because he yes. got some pretty fly Mac Miller uh, custom cleats. You know, yeah. paying homage to the late Mac. Yeah. R.I.P. to piece. him. Piece, yeah. But these came out super fly, and respect to these Adidas cleats, man. Yeah, yeah. Shout out James Conner for that. Definitely a lot of respect. All right, our favorite topic of discussion for the NFL season has to be Cam Newton. Fact. And he is back with more custom cleats, way better than last week's uh, Cowboy inspired like, yeah, man. situations. Yeah, we're not gonna talk about that. I mean, I respect it though. Like sometimes you gotta commit, but these, yeah, these. He's, I think he committed a little these. too much last week. But these are dope. Uh, these are Atlanta inspired. Uh, he has a bunch of different logos. 1996 Olympics, uh, Donald Glover's Atlanta show, a new movie Superfly that just came out, which is a remake of an older version. I think these are lit. I think yeah. they're sick. Like the way he like took inspirations from other things that were like mm -hmm. in pop culture but relevant to Atlanta. Super yeah. fire. And that sick. Olympic hit, probably my favorite on that show. Yeah. 
All right, so for our first New Era recap moment of the week, Bring. has to go to the one and only, the god, Ryan Fitzpatrick. So far killing it this year. Uh, for the Tampa work. Bay Buccaneers, Jamin Winston, watch out. Uh, so after he tore up the Eagles, sorry, Ian. Uh, <laughs> Just all these like jabs. Jabs, 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 jabs. He, he rocked uh, Deshaun Jackson's tracksuit that he, Deshaun Jackson wore to the game. Without a shirt, without a shirt underneath, showing the chest hair, with the with Showing the shades, the ice. you saw the ice just, though. Yeah. Oh, got it. Yeah. Got yeah how do you feel ice. about that? How, how would you feel if I he just like stuck. rocked your fit? Um, like I just took your fit. I mean, we're bros. We're bros. Yeah, but like he didn't have like the Sean Jackson was like literally on the side like listen. shirtless, like no clothes. Listen. He's just like, look, dog, I'm waiting for my That's clothes. That's true. But hey, listen, if, you, if your if your backup QB comes in and beats the defending Super Bowl champs, That's true. It's like drops hey, four TDs, <laughs> over 400 yards. That's true. It's like, hey, you know, where would right, I want? Right, you, you like, you, you, got you deserve today. to rock my track today. suit for like 10 minutes. As you long as the that. ice was his though, I'm pretty sure the ice was his. Still no Mahomes though, but you're doing good. You're doing good, kid. All right, well, that's it from us, guys. Thanks thank for you for me, thank bro. you for coming yeah. up out of the reserves, I'm out here, bro. bro. You know what I mean? Six yes. man out here, Lou Will, you know. Lou <laughs> Will. But yeah, that's it from us, guys. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Tell us what you think about all these custom cleats that athletes are wearing uh, right. on the field. Pretty pop and trend. Um, and I'm you know, send us some though. of your your favorites. Uh, that's it from us. Please subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Deuces. Thanks. Bye, boys. Bye, boys. <laughs>